Hey guys, hopping on today with another scrap lift. It is Sunday and that means that I am hopping along with some of my scrapbook crew and we are scrap lifting a layout. This one is an Erica Rose Creates layout and it is stunning. Now, I do not have this collection. This is a Bella Boulevard collection. And I'm trying to, here in the month of January, use my stash. And that may go into February and March and April. So, before we dive into this layout, welcome! I am so glad you're here. I am Karen. I am the everything behind A Little Kinder here on YouTube. We are also on Facebook and Instagram. Those links are down below too. I would love to have you as a subscriber. And... Um, if I can ask a very huge favor, if you would like this video, it helps YouTube know that more people need to see it. And as a content creator, that means the world to me to have these layouts get out to other people. So let's dive into this layout. I am going to be using some Hip Kit Club papers as well as some scrapbook dot com small pads so i am also going to be putting this layout into the baby got scraps category as well because baby got scraps is all about using up your small paper pads and those scraps and y'all i'm gonna be real honest i don't have a lot of scraps i don't know what i do not to have a lot of scraps but i just don't so i'm using up paper pads that's a huge thing around here we are still working on photos from Christmas of 2022, our Disney trip. And these are some from Disney Hollywood Studios. Now, my family still calls it MGM. If you've been around for any period of time um, in the Disney world, you know that the park opened as Disney's MGM Studios. It's now Disney Hollywood Studios, and that's fine. And a little rebranding, retheming there. But for our family, it will always be MGM. And unfortunately, that's what we still call it. So I struggle to get Disney Hollywood Studios out. But this layout is going to be a tale of a tree. So this is, oh gosh, I can't think of the name of the lake. It has a name, but it's where Nessie is the big green dinosaur that lives in the middle of the lake and that's where they put the tree you can kind of see nessie you can't see her in this picture but you can kind of see her right there and then the really cool thing is in the water they put these they look like ornaments in the day but at night they light up and glow and it's just really really pretty and so we grabbed a selfie in front of the tree and then I have the tree picture. So I thought that I would use this layout to scrap these two pictures. I am not going to be doing circles for this one. I love a good circle. I just don't have the pictures for it. I went through everything that I'm working on. And with my personal goals of the things that I'm trying to do, it's, it's just not there. I just don't have it. So this is what we're going to do. These are my papers. I have pulled out some very old Basil cardstock. This is out of the Fours collection. This was a KI Memories collection. And I'm not 100% sure it's the right pink, but it may be the only pink that I have. This one out of, this is a scrapbook.com paper pad. It's either Mary or Peppermint. Those are the only two I have. So it may be out of Mary. Um but the color is almost spot on perfect. This is not quite it, and so I may go hunt and see if I can find something a little closer to this. But the plan is to cut this down like this layout is. We're gonna flip it, we're gonna mirror it so that this little embellishment ends up being my trees here in the corner and we'll add some things to that. Um, I did die cut some Mickey snowflakes, so I have the little snowflakes, and so we'll be adding some of those into the layout as well and so yeah let's make a layout so i'm gonna cut the mic turn on some quiet music and we'll be back at the end to get a layout together i am gonna go find a different pink 
I'll be right back. I do need to let it dry before I can take still shots. Oh my goodness. Um, I do need to let it dry before I can take still shots of it, but I used Frosty Mint Distress Mica Stain. This is one of the seasonal. It's one of the 
new colors this year. So if you don't have them, they're really great. I don't, I'm sure you saw it, but to get it to splatter the way I like it to, I use a fan paintbrush. This one has the longest, <laughs> the longest like paint brush handle ever. Take it and put it in and then I tap, 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 tap it to where I want it. I did cover the photo so that I didn't get very much, if any, on the actual photo. Came back with my silver uh, paint pen. So these are just Liquitex acrylic markers. I really like these. I have white and black and silver and gold, I think. And I hadn't ever used the silver one, so I had to get it opened. But I will have still shots of this so you can see the details. So fun. Thank you guys so much for being here. Make sure that you check out everybody who's working on this scrap lift. We will have links here and um, on Instagram. So check that out too. Again, if you don't follow in all of the places, I would love to have you as a follower. Also, 2024, one of my big goals is to have an email um, inspiration that goes out. And so I have a link down there for emails and I would love to include you on that list. My hope is that it would go out on the 1st and the 15th of the month since I am still working on it. I'm praying that January 15th is our launch date. If you are watching this past that date, then you should be fine um, getting everything. So my friends, until we're together again next time, go make some memories. Bye-bye.